How you doing, Drew? Hmm? Hmm. We're gonna start mid-sip. I'm good. So I'm this good. is this is a new video concept that we're coming up with at Goulet called Right Now. And is that what we're calling it? This is what we're calling it. I never heard that. So cool. I like it. It's gonna be an informal, more than just Brian Clearly. style video where we're gonna talk about more timely things. We're trying to shoot these in the morning and get them published that day. Hence the mid-sip yes. of coffee. So it's gonna be super duper informal. And uh, we're gonna start it off strong with a good Lamy presence here. Seriously, I'm already <laughs> not shutting up about these pens because <laughs> I didn't know you had so many. I, d I have a lot. You know, when, so, I, when I pull them all out, it's uh, it's incredible. So the catalyst for this, and you're trying to talk over me, I appreciate that, Drew. The, 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 cat the catalyst for... The catalyst for this is me awkward. The catalyst for this is the vibrant pink, right? The new seasonal edition all star that. that is coming out. We are going to be getting these, I think, tomorrow. Mm. So that's going to be what is it? Today is Friday, fr Thursday. The seven, wait, what day is today? Margaret, do you know what Thursday is? The eighth. And tomorrow, I think, if we can get things coordinated well, we'll have these oh. with the with the ink with good stock. That's so, attractive. It is attractive. So I thought, what better opportunity? Kick it off strong with this and bust out my entire Lummy collection because I actually have quite a few. Now this Seriously. is this is just Safari's All Stars and Studios. So this is like all the past seasonal editions and everything. And I thought this would be a nice little treat for me and Drew, but also for you all. So we're just we have no real plan. We just wanted to pull out the pens and talk about them. Seriously, do you have all of them? Like is there is there one that you're missing you're just like oh so, I just can't. Well okay so because I thought at least I had one that you didn't have, but I do not. No, there's there's a lot, uh, and they've done a lot of like regional ones, you know, where they've they've done maybe a color with a black clip that's different, you know. Oh, okay, like yeah, got you got a couple of, of those, like the yeah, same, I got a same, couple, couple same of color, those. like the red one with the black and silver, blue and yeah. black and silver. So there's there's a lot of variants, and the regional ones end up <clears throat> like you can't get them obviously except in that region. So there might be a, a Asia specific one or something like that, and. Uh, They'll come out with those, and seriously, they'll be gone. And then a couple years later on eBay, they'll sell for like three. Have we ever had a region-specific one, like a U.S.-specific uh, one? Ah, not that I'm aware. Huh. You remember what my first fountain pen was, right? No. This? That? Yes. Remember? Really? Like, yes. 2011. This was it. This was my very first fountain pen. Ocean, Ocean blue. Ocean All -Star. blue All Star with a 1.1. 1. 1. 1. Because 1. 1. Nice. this was back when you know I was just putting whatever nib on whatever. But uh, it is not quite as beat up as you might think, despite me using it as much as I have. Mm -hmm. But it's, a, it's a sturdy pen, and the ocean blue is phenomenal. Look at this. Still one of my favorites. How handsome is that, though, right there? Right? I know, look huh? at that. Well, you know, the ocean oh. blue, Drew, goes nicely with mine. All right, mug. I don't want to get started on this, but Brian and I We got have... a good, great Contigo debate here. Okay. I it's not even a coffee mug debate. No. It's a Contigo debate. It's not. It, they're hard to clean. They've got springs and buttons. No. No. I prefer a hole, flap, close the hole, done, simple, no. over. See, so, Drew, this... Look at that. I turn it upside I, well, down. This is fine too. Yeah, but it's closed. Well, yeah. Me, I go to pick it up. Oh, look at naturally I'm just going to grab this anyway, take a sip. I don't need I don't mm. want to have to kung fu my kung fu grip my coffee mug every time I sip it. I want to casually I I, 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 I might want to just put the pinky out, you know? I want that option, you know. I want that versatility to each their own. It's a, it's a capitalist market out there and you can buy <laughs> and sell whatever coffee mugs <laughs> That's true. please you. So, do you have a favorite one of these? Oh my gosh! Because I do. I get asked this. Okay, you go first then. I don't the the, the ruby all star. I don't oh, like red one. nearly as much as I like the blue, and I like the coffee look. But for one. whatever reason, this one has always had my 1.5 nib on it. Yeah. And I think I've just equated the 1.5 with the ruby all star. This one was actually like scraped on the bottom, so we didn't sell it when we got it in. That's right. So I remember that at a discount. That's right. Um, we like bottom shelved it before that yeah. was really a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've always had the 1.5 on it, and this 1.5 just writes beautifully. Like, that does look really good. What ink you got in there, Drew? Uh, I think this is Matador. Ooh. I don't know why I said happy birthday. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's Archer's birthday this weekend. All right. Yeah, so maybe it's for Archer. Very cool. And yeah, whatever. Who is Archer for people that don't know? Oh, that's my wee lad. That's my wee lad. That's my wee lad. That's my wee lad. Is that what you say? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. I did today. <laughs> he right. actually helped me. Uh, he actually helped me press my my French today. <laughs> my, my. I've never heard that. Well, he pressed my French. <laughs> I let him hit the button this morning. Pressed so my French. I've got a nice combination of Blanchard's Dark is Dark in here, and then nice. a a little bit of uh, refresh from whatever's in the kitchen. Because <laughs> because it's, so you got a, it's a blend. It is. It is a very intentional blend because nice. I drank a lot of it on the way here. Because oh yeah, there was an accident on like 
skip with and broad. Someone T-boned oh, okay. somebody. So I was just. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Enjoying my commute. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, one question I know we're going to get asked is the color specifically of the vibrant pink. Because people are like, well, there's already been some pinks. There's been some purples. So that's why, that's part of why I wanted to bust them all out is I thought we could like pull them out and show some of the pens that have been somewhat similar. Um, so we have, let's see here, we'll pull them all out. Yeah, the purple, that's the one that I think is, is going to be closest associated to it. But the purple, it's really got a tinge of brown to it. See, it's crazy because I, did, I didn't think it did until... Well, when you hold it side by yeah, side. Yeah, seriously, I hold it over here away from it, it looks it legit looks purple. It looks super purple, yeah. Then you bring it over there and no. What about the bubblegum pink? Yeah, so the pink, so yeah, the bubblegum pink Safari, it, uh, it's a little hotter pink, so it looks a little more magenta next to that one, as opposed to, you know, kind of a darker brown. It definitely does look more like a luminized <laughs> version of the Safari, though. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this is the Raspberry from a few years back. And unfortunately for me, this one is a rollerball. It's not even a fountain pen. That's why it doesn't have an ink window. Wah, Scandalous, wah. I know, but it's the only color that I could find. And then, of course, we got the Ruby right here as well. And then just for kicks and giggles. We got the neon coral. That's not that close to it at all, but still looks very Valentine's Day themed. Yeah, but you, when you look at them, you're like, wow, they've really done a lot of like pinky, red, purpley kind of things. Yeah, they kind of have. But of course, dark lilac. I'm just gonna throw it in there because I love that pen. <laughs> that one just like, mm. it looks really dark next it, to these, it doesn't does. it? Well, it I looks can't. Really I, dark. I can't. I just. I'm really surprised at how brown the purple All Star looks in comparison. I know. I've never seen it quite like that. I know. Go figure. And then this one too. Do you remember the violet? Um, Studio, I do. Which looks really, really similar to the dark lilac. So this was a, this was a special edition, gosh, several years back. Um, looks really close though. So yeah, they haven't done like a deep violet all star. Well, yeah, now I want one because I thought this was it, but it's not um, at all anymore. Oh, no. Just this was this is my second one. Just this was my second one. I had to yeah? rebuy re it because my wife lost it. Oh, she also oh lost this one, but we found it. Yes, and she's she's well, had her once fountain, was lost is now. It's well, found. she's had her fountain pen privileges kind of revoked. She's <laughs> she's she's more or less she's more or less admitted that she's not like capable of not finding its way under her car seat for you know oh. several months and it drying out and becoming sad and lonely. <laughs> Margaret's dying over there. She also <laughs> had she, like... al she also had this one. She also had this, this one. The pink one. This one never to be found. Really? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Gone forever. Oh my gosh. I know. Okay. See, she'll, be, she'll be the first to admit it. She knows. Okay. She knows. <laughs> but that's nice, though, with, like, a Lamy as opposed to, you know, it's not like you bought her some, like, Namiki Rodden or something like that, and it got buried in the car. <laughs> I don't even know if I trust myself with one of those. <laughs> yeah, it gets a little All right, scary. so I asked you, what's your favorite? Come on. My favorite. Um, jeez. I don't know, Drew. You know, they're like children to me. I just love them all, and I can't choose. Brian is the master of cop-out answers for hypothetical questions. Wait, whoa. He is a seasoned no, pro. No, no. I'm not a cop-out. Uh, I just like to expand upon your Even this is a cop-out. <laughs> no, even no, no, this no, no, is no, 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 a cop-out. No, cop oh my gosh. I'm just I'm providing proper context <laughs> to the situation is all I'm doing. So, Drew, mm. you're really good at hypotheticals. I feel like this could become a thing. Like, what's, have you got a, a good hypothetical? And then you'd be like, oh, well, what's the weather like that day? Or like, oh, what am I oh, wearing yeah. during well, this hypothetical? Exactly. Yeah. What, what kind of hypothetical do you have top of mind? Because you, you've done some really good ones in the past. I know I'm putting you on the spot here. Oh, man. Um, if you could have one piece of, I, I mean, I know you're not a sports guy, but still. like. Oh, if, I know all the sports is. I have, I've been asking people this week if they could have one piece of sports memorabilia, what would it be? Like. Ooh. The bat that was used to do this, or okay. you know, Brandon just legit wants the Stanley Cup. I was like, well, that means that, that means that no one else is gonna get it. You realize that? He's like, yeah, but yeah, you, so want, you want that? The, that's what I want. Is there only one? Yeah, there's only one. And they just pass it around. Mm -hmm. every it's year? the oldest trophy, uh, huh? Like ever. And how about that? So I, I, I learned. You that. taught me something sports. I did. I learned how that this week that? too. I didn't wow. know. Wow. Empowering through education, Drew. Yeah, and Colin. Colin okay. wants. Colin wants a hockey stick that someone like laid on the ground and pretended like it was on fire. And apparently that's a big no-no because you're not supposed to have fun in hockey. Oh, what? Yeah, he got fined for that. Really? Apparently, yeah. Wow. Like you can do touchdown dances. Actually, I don't know if you can do touchdown dances anymore. It's got to be delicate. You can't like yeah. delicate dances. Yeah, you can't over like pirouettes and yeah. Point. So is that a legit question you're asking? Yeah, me? sure. What's the first one that came up? So you asked me for the first one that was on my mind. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, I'm gonna go really left field because I knew nothing about sports. I'm gonna say I would like to have the curling stone 
that was the winning curling stone from the first Olympics that curling was in. That would be pretty cool. I don't know which that is. It's also kind of timely because the Olympics are... Uh, the Olympics are upon us. They are. Almost. Yes. So please don't sue us for talking about the Olympics, Olympic Committee. They're a very litigious group they are. Well, don't say that if you don't want them to sue us. I'm just... I'm they're very nice and, and we very, love them. Oh, yeah, I guess Not like right. they're watching. Good Lord. Sorry. Oh, well, uncut. That's how we go. But um, Curling stone. Yes. Right up there, curling stone. right up there behind the uh, behind your wall of randomness. You or know, nice you know what? Curling stone right up on top. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna backpedal on that just a little bit and take a little side shift. Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember if it was the last Olympics. It might have been two Olympics ago. There was like the oh gosh, what team was it? Finish oh, I know what you want. You want the, the you want the crowbar, the no. Tanya Harding crowbar. No, no. Oh, I don't <laughs> want that. No, no, the <laughs> curling. There was the curling team. I forget what country they were from. That had like the crazy pants. That was like their thing. They all wore these like crazy plaid like golf pants. Do you remember? Who was that? What what team was that? I don't remember. Oh, I can't remember. Was it Finland or it was, it was some like, like Nordish country. Yeah, was, and they wore yeah. like these crazy like golf pants, and that became like their thing. There you go. Like, they like put curling on the map that year. Brian wants curling somebody's, golf pants. Somebody's curling pants. <laughs> that I don't is know who. You know, for some for someone who doesn't know anything about sports, that's actually a you know, pretty entertaining answer. You know why I like curling? Tell because me. they're not I mean, they are professionals because they're there at the Olympics, but they like curling doesn't pay anything. No. So they're all like working day jobs. That's what Michael was telling me. And then me. they like go to the Olympics and curl. Yeah. So there was I remember last year at the Olympics, I was watching the curling and they had like one dude in between like Those. the semifinals and finals or whatever, and he was like on his laptop working remotely because he was like he didn't yeah. have enough PTO. <laughs> To go to the Olympics, so he had to like remote in. I love that VPN to his job. Michael was, was like, telling me that yesterday. I got respect. That is respect. Not only are you at the Olympics, but you got like that's your side hustle. Yeah, you got, like your day job. That's the current the current UFC up. heavyweight champion is also an active uh, full time firefighter as well. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, UFC doesn't pay a lot either. Well, <laughs> hey, unless you're like the champ, right? You know, he is the champ. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the heavyweight champion of the world. Dude could get like a sponsorship somewhere. Or he might just like being a hero. Well, that's also very noble. And uh, we like being heroes too, Drew. I think you're a hero for being the first one on this uncut form of video. Definitely, definitely. I feel heroic. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to have this up later today. And if we have this up, if this video publishes on February 8th, 2018, then we'll have accomplished our mission. So we're going to look to try to do these, I think, a couple times a week. It's a new thing that we're going to be starting here, and we're super pumped about it. Heck yeah! This was just a little intro. We're going to try to like write with more stuff. We're going to try to show um, prospective products that we don't carry yet to get feedback from you all. We're going to try to show um, you know items that we don't necessarily even carry or sell, but just we really want to give you an insight into what it's like to be here and to just you know we play with products all the time, we test things, we talk about pens all the time, and uh, we want to open that world up to you a little bit. So we hope you've enjoyed this a lot and we'll see you for episode number two coming at you next week. Right on. Later.